in the recording now. Mm -hmm. So, oh hi guys, and this is trying to be a let's play or bullshitting around with a with a, with a guy named some Russian married dude, of course. And he is now the server, and we are going to play Battle City. Why? Because this is the only playable game within a big server loss shit. And yes, and we are using the pirate version of Battle City. Yes, yeah, and, yeah. and I am just uh, realized that there is a st st stage called zero zero right now, and uh, that's quite interesting. Let's show this to the Let's start. Yeah, shall yes. we? Sorry if the quality is a little bit off or shit, but I'm trying to do as best as can. It may be laggy, but I don't really care about it right now. But it kind of works now, like a smooth. So this yeah. is just like some glitchy shit. Yes, and uh, um, as uh, the ROM name says, it, it says uh, Battle City uh, J uh, P2, which obviously means uh, pirate version, pirate version dump. But uh, s I can't really imagine. Uh, what uh, kind of bootleg cards this uh, game was released? Because um, I've seen that this game was uh, released on bootlegs, uh, mostly I had the normal level select uh, thing. Ouch. You can start like on uh, levels from 1 to uh, 35, and I just. <laughs> oh, it was stupid. That was interesting. Okay, uh, we'll what? try again. Oh, 6 something 40. <laughs> Uh, it it is really uh, good. Okay, do this again. And you see, this um, pirate version is glitchy as hell because level design has just changed. Yes, no. it's. There is no water. Do suggest breaks. Um, yes, I said I can't imagine uh, what bootleg cards this game was released because some um, all single cards, single card LA forty twigging cartridge. Pirate cards of this, everything works it all right except uh, for the name code logo and cup rest were removed, obviously. Yes, and the majority of on the bootlegs there are mostly the tank A version or the 90 tank. On those very of common multi cards or shit like that. Or at least that's what I own, but I actually happen to own the tank 1990 Ch Chinese ROM, or, or actually that. So you know that that special version where it's tank A, B, C, D, and you know what? Oops! Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Never I'm mind. gonna save your ass. <laughs> this game is so pointless and it doesn't it doesn't have endings. So who cares if we fuck up? We don't yeah. really lose much about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Just just see this. Uh, what the fuck is that with your scores? <laughs> oh, 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 hey. And that, yeah, that, you can start normally. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that was actually my score because I am player 2, the green tank. Yes, <laughs> and I am the yellow tank in case you... I know this is a little bit off topic and shit, but who should upload this? I or you? <laughs> I could upload it, but uh, also link to your channel. <laughs> And uh, speaking of that, uh, yes, uh, I know that some um, people could be uh, like uh, people from Russia who subscribe to my channel and might may be asking, why the fuck do I uh, make videos in English and why uh, do I speak English and such? You know, do I just move to America or something like that. But uh, seriously, um, became uh, making videos became a little bit easier to me in English since 2009 or something. The same could be said for me because, uh, <coughs> to be very uh, 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 honest with you, I have a very few Hungarian viewers who are constantly asking me that why the hell I don't really make videos in Hungarian because you know my target audience is not really made for Hungarians after all. But it's not it's not meaning that I. Uh, discourage my nation or something like that. No, Hungarian viewers are like accepted as like Indonesians or gypsies or... So the point is that I like if, uh, if people watching me 
Nevertheless, the fact that where they are came from, because I'm not a racist or something like that, but please don't force me to use my native language, because I don't really want to use it, and too, since I don't really have too, way too much many views, then what's the point then? But that is just my point, so feel free well, to disagree with me. Well, I actually like, I, I agree with your points of view. <laughs> You know, like in Russia, there are lots of like people, oh, people who have like nostalgia about this old 8-bit uh, Famicom, Dendy games, whatever. Yes. And uh, they are like collecting uh, stuff from auctions, uh, pay too much uh, money that uh, you could actually pay for official cartridge and such. But yes, but yes. then again, then again, paying official cart is like you need to sell your limbs f for the first time. Or shit like that because the prices are just keep getting insane and insane because and as you can see on that Facebook group that I just post constantly, constantly all the fucking time because I'm a lazy ass and I am nothing really much as to do. <laughs> I just oh I didn't need need it been to do that. Oh, that's alright. I um, didn't die. Yes. That's the main thing. Oh. And uh, yeah, actually, speaking of my video, uh, why I, I uh, started this topic uh, in first place, mm -hmm. someone actually decided to post my video of a funny clone collection in Kinaman's group in uh, contacted.ru. And uh, that's why the um, people started like, asking these uh, weird questions. Hmm. Actually, I kind of. Uh, I can thank this guy for sharing my video because uh, I don't mind if I have uh, some extra views mm -hmm. uh, to my videos, but this question is just... I don't know what to say. Well, as long as people don't uh, spam me with questions uh, directly, I don't really give much much of the shit about it. Yes. Yay, yeah, Ninja, Ninja Khan or something like that here. Yes. I actually didn't realize it back in that this was supposed to be some sort of ghost or something like that. It was just when I just see some dig dug game or something like that and I just say that wow this oh, sprite is oh, so, looks strange. Oh yeah yeah. Pick yeah. that up. Just take it. it could be like a dig dug enemy. Yes. And uh, but as, I am uh, not one hundred percent sure about and, this. Uh, as, uh, um, and as can be seen in some later levels. Uh, oh shit. You'll see, like, uh, level design represents mapping. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, uh, that, uh, police mouse. Oh, I know his, what a game. Yes, everyone knows this game. It's a classic uh, game on this uh, over 9 million in one multi <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love this. Uh, people say, like, over 9,000 after. Dragon Ball thing, <laughs> cartoons, I think, but uh, I think over 9 million in one is uh, more fitting thing for these multicars. Well, why the why the hell I keep constantly shooting you? Yeah. Ah, I suck at this game. Well, not uh, not everyone is uh, great at this game uh, either. But it doesn't mean that uh, the game sucks, it's uh, very awesome. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a very good Famicom classic that uh, a lot of us played back in these days. Yes. And uh, um, when I actually, speaking of this game, uh, when I um, uh, got Nintendo V and um, was download was uh, like uh, hacking it to uh, have homebrew channel, web manager and such, I. Uh, was really confused by this game. Uh, was not released in Europe or US, USA. It uh, really bugged me a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, this game is awesome. For, it's uh, one of my first games I've ever played. Yeah. On this 10 and 1 uh, Ken Boy Blue Multi Card. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was confused, so I had like to download the, the Silk Simulator, or how it's called. The, the NES simulator and uh, emulate the ROM of Battle City to be able to play it. Oh, 
I need that. Oh, I need that. that. Yes. Uh, well, we can steal uh, uh, lights from me, uh, so it's not a huge For problem. me, my first tank experience was, I think, like with my Sup Sega Mega Drive 2 Famiclone back in 1997 or mm -hmm. 6 or something like that, because as far as I know, what my mother told that I was not, not uh, obligated to see television and uh, video game footage at all for for at, at it is two years old but not because my parents were strict but it was something like that that those old TVs can harm the ch the children's eyes way too much you know because uh, back in the old days they were those big ass and I mean S big ass TVs. CRT TVs and they can pretty much hurt the eye and I can see that actually L yeah but LC LCD TVs don't don't really seem to harm your eyes that fast. Yes, and actually, and in in nowadays I can see a little bit more harder. I think now, and somebody even said that it should be advised to go to the uh, eye doctor or something like that. Eye doctor? Yes, I have no idea how. Oh, optically illu illusionist or something like that. How to say it in English properly? But basically, they just said that it's advice to uh, either uh, use glasses or something like that. But I was like, mm, really? I'm don't using glasses since I know my brain or something like that. So instead, I'm trying to use an eye uh, coordination Lenses. thing or something like that. Well, uh, what's quite interesting is that. Uh, we both seemed to have like the same Famiclone, but uh, mine was the brand as Game Star Famiclone, which uh, works very well on, on LCD TV for RF, but doesn't seem to work quite well on uh, uh, SRT TV because it just gives me black and white picture. Yes. A and I actually watched one of your bullshit videos about uh, oh. RF generator such things and uh, oh. since my Sega uh, Sega CD um, let me pull is, uh, is, let, uh, let me politely say those videos sucks major shit yeah. <laughs> in, in terms of quality and in terms of uh, purpose it was made by just inside joke no 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 Yes. Saved in the last oh. minute. Holy fucking crap. Well, it was intense. And yeah, I actually see, seen that uh, your Famicom was taken apart and uh, the case for Sega CD uh, thingy where you just insert Sega CD, it's yeah. missing there and uh, I can see it perfectly that it's an NOAC and three boards. Yeah. And actually I figured out that we both had the same Famicom growing yeah. up. So it, just looks it just it the same. Be. Yes, I think, but I, I guess it was a very popular Famicom at the time because mm. one of my schoolmates says at the at this uh, information school that they used to kick. No, I need them on extra lives. I don't have <laughs> a one. You oh, uh, see. Uh, press A or B button. You should be back to normal. The fuck! I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing. Oh, that's weird. Are you shitting with me, Maybe this pirate version is glitchy as hell, it doesn't even want to give you extra lives. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try the next stage. Hopefully it works. Otherwise it's... Uh, it's game over for me. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be like a big fail. Then we need to do the whole video all over again. Yay, Mappy! <laughs> see that? Okay, oh, okay. I see it now. And I'm pressing all the buttons, and nothing helps. So okay, let's try it. Kill the base. Let's uh, let's let's try it. Starting from level ten, hopefully it works. I really hope so. Yeah. At, <laughs> at least we have a new high score. Hey. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you know what's interesting? I found one interesting channel about uh, Famicom importing stuff. Oh, okay. We can. Apparently, we can. <laughs> Let's try from uh, stage zero again. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> and next time, and this time, I need to be more careful. Okay. And uh, uh, speaking of it, uh, 
the introduction some stuff I found one interesting thing about Famicom important stuff. It's called Japan Spell that user with a Famicom uh, uh, on a another picture has uh, some gameplay videos of this uh, Famicom exclusive games. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, uh, um, I'm not sure. After, um, after one of my uh, Google Plus uh, followers uh, commented something about Draymond uh, anime cartoon, I just was curious, curious to watch to watch it and check out if it's any good or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, found out that uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty good actually for children. Uh, for children, it would be very suitable. And uh, I found out, and I actually realized they had uh, a Famicom game, that first one. Oh, now I should be more careful as well. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, uh, actually they released more games on Mega Drive and uh, Super Famicom, which were far better. And that Japan Spell user actually has gameplay videos of them, recorded right from the consoles, which is kind of cool. Good for him, because I can do that shit. And yes, he actually could write from the consoles through some captured device. Yes. Oh, I use I use Dazzle DVC 100. I'm not sure what uh, kind of uh, capture card he uses. Ask him. But Dazzle I... is uh, not uh, that cheap to get, but it's by far the best capture uh, card. Can, uh, it's the best. Yeah, but... uh, um, Capture software I've uh, used so far. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, other TV hybrid tool to USB sucks because it lags for well, like one or two seconds and you can't like connect console directly to it mm -hmm. and play it that way. Mm. Um, Pinnacle 510 USB worked only with Nintendo Wii. I tried plugging my Symbios Famicom, which is now there and uh, no longer works. It didn't oh. re register a signal. Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, and yes, but at Japan Spell user uh, has just uh, you um, that you should uh, check out his channel because it's very cool. Of course, um, he's from Sweden, so uh, some country videos are expected to be in, in Swedish. Mm. Uh, but uh, he has like a lot of good uh, gameplay videos of some games. Hmm. This channel. I might, I might maybe heard of it of this guy, but I'm not sure right now. But nevertheless, I'm gonna check it after the video. Yes. Well, definitely I, shoot. I, I, I never really posted uh, videos about uh, him on Facebook or uh, for Nor else. for Norwegian guys. The only one I know and I used to watch him very long time ago is. I don't know what is the username, but he has a series called NES Redku, which is may maybe like pick that up because you don't have extra yeah. lives. And he made reviews about obscure games like Treasure Master and shit like that. Yeah. But inter interestingly, he play he either played it on emulator or on an NTS NES because the speed pitch was in NTSC and. It's actually pretty damn weird because you know the European uh, or some okay what's happening right now? Slugging as shit. Yay, let's stop. But then again this is a early Famicom game so it <coughs> doesn't really matter. So what I was trying to say that uh, you know the uh, Europeans biggest problem with the NES is it is just way too fucking slow. But personally I found it far superior because maybe I got used to this slow shit. Oh, the same thing uh, for me because uh, I got used to this part of Famicom stuff, so it's not a huge problem to me. But I can't get used to my Famulator mm. uh, mm, having a problem with the uh, uh, DD cycles uh, yeah. thingy. It's like DD uh, cycles are reversed or something like that, and it's like two channels are swapped, so it doesn't sound that correctly. Yes, and so basically what most PAL, PAL gamers do is just they simply import an NTSC NES or a Famicom if they really want to do that. Mm. I would, uh, if uh, I was asked uh, what uh, to import, uh, either NES or Famicom, 
I, I definitely say Famicom because I mean there were more games released for the system. There were much uh, a lot more uh, Famicom exclusives. And secondly, it is fucking usable. <laughs> yes, uh, you you can either just get the DHS and uh, or some RF cable uh, set up it uh, somehow. <laughs> Or, or like me, just get uh, already an modded Famicom and play it like that. But yeah. I really want uh, the one yeah, from, because from 1993 because at least it ha uh, has like... Uh, I'm not sure. But hardware control is not a huge problem for me, but... How can I say this? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like the control, hardware controls on my Famicom uh, little, are a little bit better or something like that. Yes, the same could be said, but but the only thing that is just maybe baffling that I am one of those custodians on the wall net who actually is kind of supporting the NES's design as much as I hate it desperately because let me just say that the front loader NES sucks major shit to this <laughs> day. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm saying it is right fucking now, but. Then again, I'm trying to actually make theories about bullshit yeah. like that, that either a Famicom disk system would can work on, on it, or, you know, the, those mapper chip games, how they behave on the Falcons, or, you know, the shit like that. Yeah, that's, I'm really excited to see... Um, because, uh, simply, gonna... nobody is gonna do that, on, only me, because I am, as I said, one of these only guys? One, of a, one of a kind of human beings who actually do shit like this. Oh, but, at yeah. least, but at least someone does this business, so um, the others can just uh, uh, watch this and uh, decide if it's uh, really worth it or not. Or not, but but actually it's not worth it at all to play just an FDS and a Palness if you don't have a Famicom, but then again, if you are considering buying of uh, FDS, you already should supposed to have an, a Famicom, just like with the Sega CD, because they come in a bundle, so... Or, or just get Twin Famicom, because it combines uh, two systems together. Yes, pre 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 preferably the best uh, thing to buy, when it comes to NES, if you ask me, at least. Mm. But I... If I would have chose between a Twin Famicom and an AV Famicom, uh, I f would be in some uh, problems, I can assure you that. Because both systems is awesome, but then again it is just a system that plays things, so it's kind of like a VCR player, which is better. Which has and, multiple and the fact, functionality. Uh, and the fact that they're both the uh, official consoles, not like Sony clones or something like that, so... They yes. both have like the same uh, very good quality of the video signal and compatibility. Yes. Uh, uh, as for AV Famicom thingy, it's uh, I think it's pretty much the best uh, uh, NES Famicom system ever. Yes. Maybe. But the pro problem with this is that not all the converters to play NES games will work. Like uh, Max uh, show, uh, showed uh, on YouTube. When he got his uh, Famicom and um, played a few cartridges. Yeah, 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 I see what you mean. I have uh, uh, a converter, but uh, I have a doubt that it will work. It's but custom made by the same, by a uh, Sergi guy from RareGame.ru, who uh, sold me an AV modded Famicom along with uh, Super Nintendo, which is region modded, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some other stuff. Which was like my most expe my most expensive buy, which I, I don't even want to tell you the price and don't even ask me for tell me how much all this stuff costed. And secondly, gonna, yeah. and secondly, I would I would need to convert into dollars because this is the most known currency in the world. Because why would the why would in the damnation I would convert into foreign or into rubles? Yes. <laughs> Or, oh, in, or into Japanese, for that matter, because <laughs> or into Japanese gen, which is really makes no sense. If you ask us, ah shit, ah oh, fuck, I need one up and I'm, oh don't pick up, don't pick up that <laughs> shit. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said. Uh, Man, uh, we got the fucking up, fist. Not, not to pick this thing up, but uh, we still uh, killed you. Uh, okay. Let Oh, shits and pickles. Uh, you know what? 
no you play at least then I actually trying to speak a little bit normal if I don't suck and bad at and or at least I can see you how do you play how you play because I think well <coughs> ah shit why the hell I can make a fucking normal one sentence so you play until you get a game over okay yeah. Well, um, speaking of that, uh, this could be one of the reasons why I make, mostly make gameplay videos instead of this commentary thing is because, well, for one thing, you, um, you want to make good uh, let's play videos or just commentary videos, you need to concentrate both on the game itself and uh, the uh, stuff that you're going to be talking about. Yes, it's actually it's really it's, difficult. Yes, I agree with that. and. Uh, and sometimes it can be from bullshit to utterly pointless horseshit that we came up and talk about it. Like I, uh, or, and maybe the let's play can be off topic and I and the most of the majority of the people don't like these let's plays because oh it is just some douchebags that playing about or, or saying bullshit about the game and Yes, yeah, some people actually said, or when it, when I very long ago watched the Castlevania pre, free let's play, not the Japanese one, the station, it, the, it's, I read the comment, finally, a fucking video where nobody fucking talks. So, it kind of defeats, defeats, defeats the purpose. Oh, hi, Mappy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mappy is such a classic game. <laughs> Yes, it has been so long, so long since I played that, <sighs> and that actually that is one of the games that has a <coughs> quote unquote ending or loop at least I think. Yes. One loop is like As seventeen rounds, I guess. Maybe, but I didn't get that far. I actually beat the game, or at least got a one loop, but <sighs> I guess it could these early arcade ports is just like they have 255 levels and they just l l repeat because that's the memory like, and I fucked it up <laughs> and th that's the memory limitation of the NES or at least when it was new and the mappers didn't exist because I think I don't know if this game actually uses mappers at all it, it uses it doesn't use any map any mappers it's like anorom or something like that uh, anorom maybe or or M maybe or mmc1 but that's i don't think um, so so if all the early uh, famicom games use the anorom yes even, even super mario bros uses that so if somebody is actually desperately want to have a fucking reproduction card of this then i would advise to do it because this game is pretty damn but you don't really need to do that because this game is kind of common on multicars so you just have to buy a Famicom converter and that's all okay and getting my ass fucked now yes but I actually sometimes wonder should I ever buy of this game's complete in box or maybe not and game guide and the ball game over. Uh, how to say it is in Russian? Uh, uh, it? Something konets. Konets igry. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, igra. That's, that's it. <laughs> oh, and high score. Your Russian is your Russian is pretty pretty hilarious, but uh, I kind of uh, like how. You try to read some stuff in Russian, like, remember you write the game card, uh, warning, uh, leap, mm, things on the back. That was kind yes. of cool, actually. Yes. One more round. I think we can play this for five hours if you want, but that would be a little bit interesting, because, mm. yes, I'm, not, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm go not gonna fucking render this out, because why? <laughs> Let's try this. Zero if zero. It works. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's kick some ass. Mm. And actually, speaking of map, the game. Actually, uh, at first I got just uh, the Famicom official cartridge. Then I found out someone was selling a manual for this game, so I decided to pick it up. Because why not? 
It's pretty would be pretty good for um mm -hmm. like um, for my little uh, very small collection of games. In fact, it's not very small. I'm. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, it's like all 100 cartridges, including bootlegs and official cartridges. Mm. Yeah, I like. Uh, um, but uh, when I have a chance to do so, I like uh, getting my, buy my games on. Uh, my favorite games on official cartridges, so like single cartridges, uh, old single cartridges like uh, from the 90s because yes, they are much like Star Force LA32 TV game cartridge. Yes, I just looked it up <laughs> just mm -hmm. for no reason because mm -hmm. I mean the old bootlegs uh, nowadays uh, sucks almost as uh, almost as uh, oh so, sorry I. Kind of messed up. The old bootlegs from these days, uh, from those days, uh, are almost as valuable as uh, the official cartridges. But it's uh, most people will just go uh, and uh, buy official cartridges, and uh, it's well, much more affordable. But then again, the best yeah. place for Famicom bootlegs is either eBay or maybe the good old flea market because. I, I may. Mean, oh sadly, fuck you! Uh, sadly, for me, uh, the only uh, like place where I can buy this Famicom cards, those are just game card, multi cards, and new ones. With the uh, rid most ridiculous labels I've ever seen, and they have like a very very tiny PCB board and uh, one globe. Imagine this: how uh, this thing can run. Imagine like a Team NT free game. Um, I've seen it on a pirate card like this and the Russian translation, but it freezes on the second stage. Oh, well, that's but interesting. Because the uh, pirates didn't really think of, of uh, porting it uh, correctly into the cartridge. But or, may or maybe because uh, they tested on the emulators that uh, accept every error possible and not on the uh, uh, console through flash card or something like that. But sometimes I, I wonder how the hell they would actually know in the 90s when they shit like this wasn't exist that they know what they are doing actually they doing it wrong, good or maybe yes. bad speaking so. of a good or bad thing about pirate cards but if you've seen my latest video of uh, Frankenstein the most returns you yes. can see that uh, because pirates uh, fucked up the code in, in the game's data on the island part on the second stage again just freezes I'm not kidding, I tested it on uh, all my Famicons imaginable. But you, uh, but but you tried it, it on... But have you tried it on official uh, software as well? So, on the real Famicom? Well, since it's like um, the same th the same deal, so it must be the problem with the cartridge itself. Hmm... I guess, because actually, believe it or not, I had very in bizarre problems on Famiclones with my Battletoads card, and it wasn't Battletoads free, not that the up and start selected thing. The thing was like that when I pressed I think like up and down at the same time at the Wookie Hall, the Battletoads just went downer and you can couldn't control it or something like that. Well, yeah, that's... Uh, um uh, just a D-pad on this uh, pirate controllers. I have uh, 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 a few controllers. Like I had one for Symbios control. One I have one for. It's not it's it's like PS One control. I can do the same shit. Yes, but it's not the controller's fault at all. It, it because I, I then I, then again I I run it on Famicom that Famic uh, that Battletoads card and it worked it like normal. So it's quite weird, and for some reason, nowadays, the problem has been just vanished. Mm. So it's very bizarre. And the same thing could be said for one of my all-time favorite games, this is Doki Doki UNG. That you know, on the pirated soft uh, 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 hardware, the game is known for crashing v very frequently so you go to the stage and 
the game crashes for no apparent reason. But mm -hmm. I played it on some some sometime on a Famicom, my that game, and it worked like normal, no problem at all. So maybe there's just got to be some problem with. Uh the fact that it uses um, you play in PAL Famicom and the NTSC console, and what I I guess that maybe it's like mm -hmm. your Zexus Famicom cartridge that freezes on uh, after a bit of stage. On I Famicom. I have actually a different theory because I don't know I don't know how much you know about the NES's cartridge pinouts because my theory is that that on i think pin three or four sorry if i am making bullshit i'm not 100 percent a programmer but i hear that on one of the pins there is a five volt like five volt plus in scene because it's needed when you turn off the console with that big electricity ray to you know to turn the cartridge on and make something pictures within the PPU. But my guess is that when these pirate uh, cartridges were made, they didn't have enough voltage for maybe some of the BP, PPU uh, refreshing and. For in such a way, when they actually got a 50 hertz console, maybe in inside the cartridge this uh, voltage frequency may be in the resolved or something like that, and that's the reason why I don't really see see much of this problem with my Famiclones. But this is just my theory. Mm -hmm. Nothing is known. But and the same could be said when I played my Doki Doki UNC on a Paul NES. It never crashed a single fucking time, and it, it runs on the same clock speed as well. So, I have no idea. But, if programmers maybe listen this shitty let's play, then free, feel free to uh, educate me. I am appreciate it. Mm. Well, yeah, this is... So, um, <laughs> it was certainly a pretty interesting theory right here. Yes. Yes, I actually should be reading more stuff about this NES architecture someday. And uh, yes, uh, in case you're thinking like uh, go fuck yourself. Even if you're like uh, me, interested in collecting pirate cards, uh, um, it would be best not just uh, collect only pirate cards uh, and ignore the official cartridges. Uh, you'd better have both of these because in, well, some pirate cards pirates may just screw around the game uh, so badly, like the Frankenstein game. Yes. So, so it's best to uh, have like a repro rep cartridge or yes, or or just official deal. Yes. So there is no way. But then again, if the game works on the uh, but but no because what I see on that on that s uh, how to say that C A A H A R you know the Sanchez. guy yes yes that site when I, I I see that in the debug gear there is an opcode in which is wrong so I guess if you check it in all of your Famiclones then I guess. It wouldn't work on official hardware as well. Yeah, yeah, got Tetris block. Because <laughs> it is like, if you if you have an error message in a mm -hmm. source code, then you can you don't think you can do uh, run that uh, source code into different things. So either way, which is fucked up, that's fucked up. There is no way to. Why pana 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 pana? Yes, kill that fucker. Hmm. So that's actually kind of a bad because I'm not really much played Frankenstein on the NES, but I found it pretty uh, de de decent as best. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, it's, the, it's, the it's, it's it's unfairly difficult. I I'm gonna admit that you have enough of those power ups. And uh, what's uh, but I, I think it had. A, but uh, but I think it had some sort of uh, appeal because it had maybe yeah. cutscenes. But then again, but then again, the Japanese programmers maybe never read the book because Frankenstein is the doctor who created <coughs> the monster, and it is 
So Frankenstein is not the monster. You need to learn that. Okay. And speaking of this uh, game crashes and such, uh, you know this game Snake Rat and Roll. Uh, yes, it apparently, has apparently seven. Apparently the game crashes at a, a one point on the seven in one multi card with uh, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Robocop 3. Oh. Uh, Mickey Mouse Capade, Sacros, and Magic Jewelry. But I'm not sure, I have an eight in one with Rocking Cats, Top Gun 2, Hunt uh, for at October, and such. I'm not sure if this uh, bug happens there as well because I never really got far in that oh. game. Oh! <laughs> you, you know, I can Fuck this game, man. Yes. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, so what was I was trying to say that uh, I have Snake Rattle and all, but on a single cartridge, which has this seven up presence bullshit like that. You uh, know. Yeah. The you text know. It's also a bit screwed up in that version as far as I heard. You know what? Select no random level because I think this is gonna be a little uh, bit Ted uh, uh, repeat. Uh, sadly, we can't select any random level. I press A button, this is stuck on the stage one. Press B button, we get to zero. So we have to use different ROM. Uh, Should we do this? You know what? Then, dear viewers, hang on a second, and the video continues. And you now we are playing Future Tank the hack or game that I never actually played so I yes. have oh wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec the video do, do this video okay now it's a little bit better because the size is a little bit wrong so what is this game again <laughs> the fuck is this shit okay let's go to two play mode right uh, yes, because I start I on stage fifty. Why not? Okay, let's go. And you can see uh, our oh, dear oh, viewers. Wow, this is it's, it's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Attack of Tank 1990, and everything has been changed around the power ups and all stuff. You see, we're playing as butterflies or helicopters. That's just what the, I, I was about to say, that what the hell are actually we are controlling in the first place? What is this heart? One up? Alright, let's see. No, from what I've uh, played, it's not really one up, but... <laughs> well, we get you now. Oh, yes. Uh, fuck. Really quickly. Which tank is actually you? I am this one. Okay. It was blue now. Blown up right now. Let's see. And it gives us invisibility, yay! Uh huh. Okay, so it's oh, okay, health. Okay. What flash? This. What is that? And <laughs> I mean, I guess flash is like the power up. It's like a gun. Okay, we we died, but uh, it yeah. was like a training. So let's do it more seriously. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Seriously, we start with this fucking stage. Or should we start on stage one? Uh, maybe. Oh, okay, here it is. Let's collect this. So it's just so it's just like a star. Just upgrades your weapon. Okay. But <laughs> but why the hell I am keep constantly getting buck fuck raped by okay, those? Oh. Let's collect the heart. Collect it, please. Yay. This is doomsday for your fucking fuckers. Oh, and speaking of which, oh, okay, here is a skull, and wow, we have a. What did that do? Well, it's like a, it was like a gun. Oh, let's cut this skull and see what it does. It's uh, no, the skull it's, it's looks collect. like it looks like a one up from Punisher, and I died, and I can oh. <coughs> I can re-enter. Or maybe not. Try again. No. Okay, let's start from level one because uh, it's not gonna be uh, not gonna go any further with this. And uh, maybe it's not nearly as fucking hard like this. Or maybe I just suck balls in here because I am not really get got used to this. Okay. Oh, okay. 
It's like, uh, for one second I thought that uh, I forgot. But I what think it just looks like a stationary graphical hack, I guess. Oh, well, yes, it is just a graphical hack by... Uh, uh, what was called that company? Oh, Inventor, That what was it? That company that created shitty hacks on this arcade action 2 uh, multi-card. You know this, like, good hand with your city connection, but the road wasn't changing any colors, so you couldn't uh, hit the first stage. Or, uh, like, Pita being a Puyan hack, or Rock Briar, which is a uh, hack of Mario Bros. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this one. I may uh, send uh, ROM to you about this arcade action 2 101 1 multi card. I can't And remember. also, that company made uh, some hacks of games like Gun Neck, which was Space War, with m really messed up music. Um, Street War, which was Mighty Final Fight. Um, Gun Neck, Gun Neck, Gun Neck. Uh, other game it was a hack of uh, Pyramids by Statkin, which sucked badly. Oh, um. okay. I let you collect this. I think. No, apparently we can't. Okay. Go. Oh. I was interrupted by so. And we had that. No game over. Oh, I. Oh, okay. Let's start on stage two. Since we've died, so let's go to the third stage because technically we've beaten it. Mm-hmm. Technically beated it, but... Uh, not to... I don't want to really disappoint you, but... This heck is kind of like a poopy. <laughs> yeah, at least we could show it like to people, so you can see what uh, hacks of this game uh, were made. Mm-hmm. Meow. Meow. That's my cat, by the way, dear viewers, yes. This is no way to actually avoid this. Speak. I love them. Huh? Speak. Speak. Maybe you can't doesn't understand. Bosch, beszélj, ha akarsz, bazd meg. Igen, de a gyerekek magyarul beszélnek. Na, bosch, beszélj, bazd meg, ha akarsz. Just because some people said that oh why the hell I don't speak Hungarian? Okay, this was this was my pleasure present. Mm-hmm. The quest is done. És nem akarod a jó magyar videókat csinálni, mert nincsen kinek. És könyörgöm, ne gyertek ezzel folyton. Most tényleg, mitől jobb szól, hogy én hogy én magyarul beszélek ezekben a rohat videókban, de most komolyan basszus. Ú, nem vagyok én az a van egy magyar híresség. Úgyhogy most ebből itten elég volt, és most visszaváltok angolba. Úgyhogy... Uh, keep playing around. Uh, should we go, uh, go on and uh, play this game or not? Mm, you know what, I'm gonna pause the video. And I guess it kind of works. It's a little bit laggy, and I added a little bit sound. Okay, so let's play. Mm -hmm. And hey. with a no. Oops. <laughs> Reset. Okay, let's try this again. Cooperative. Oh, cooperative. <laughs> Reset. Okay. This. Yes, that one. Let's go on uh, level two. Why not? Okay. Uh, handicap. J just three. to. Just to say to the uh, uh, dear viewers that we have some sort of diversity in this video. Handicap select free. I guess it's okay. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Padinski, that's the, my favorite. Okay, let's play. Let's play. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so what? Which, oh, oh, okay, I'm on the... Kind of the right side. You know, I have never really played with human beings this uh, mode, but this, this makes it really challenging, I guess. Yes. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Oh, ah! I didn't really want to do that. And yes, thankfully it's uh, that version of Tetris that uh, was common uh, part of multi-cards. 
And uh, believe it or not, I have I currently I have it on like three single cartridges which have the title hack uh, of it, where it was called 1992 Pyramid Game Card. Whoa, well, uh, that card is just still looks priceless even to this day. Yeah, I mean Pyramid. <laughs> And Seriously, all of this, uh, and all these uh, uh, cartridges have the same label. Wait, wait, it's like uh, eight bit planes or something. Yes, I actually had this that little planes on a multi cut or something like that as a picture. Okay, which one, which which one is I am? And yes, now you can hear the lagging sound, but I not care about it. Because at least the video footage is somewhat decent, and that's the reason why we mostly play first generation Famicom games. And yes. <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, one of the uh, Super Brain 1997 asked me to, to get like a cartridge. Uh, I have a message. Uh, about, uh, wait about, a about sec, I have a message to him. Speak English, goddammit, sometimes. Because <laughs> your videos are awesome, and this is a compliment. Or at least put the uh, English subtitles, yes? Please, please! Ah, I bet uh, he's gonna uh, write uh, uh, a response to me in the uh, uh, PM. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yes, pr um, private, private message thingy. But wait, but I, I think... Or I... Ah, shit, I didn't want to do that. You have it on Skype, right? Didn't you? Yes. But uh, he usually talks through contacts, not through uh, social media site. Ah. And he's currently in his country, which has no internet connection. That kind but of. I, but I seem to be pretty lucky with this because I am in country house as well, but I have Wi-Fi here. But it's uh, slow shit when you try to upload videos on YouTube, especially if you render them uh, in Sony Vegas. And then try to upload, you have to leave the computer on for the whole night. Seriously. Yes, I, I, I'm doing the same shit as well when I'm making those OST videos. On the whole fucking night, there is the computer turned on. Yes, and it's not very healthy. <laughs> oh, what the hell I'm doing? <laughs> oh, inconsistency, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's try again. Uh, this makes Tetris very much harder than it should be. Yeah, and yes, I said about this uh, cartridges. Uh, that's steeper company that uh, distributed uh, um, half legal this uh, video games uh, stuff. Uh, they actually had this game on uh, the pirate, pirate single card of this uh, 1992 uh, pyramid game card uh, copyright. I have like two, um, like three cartridges, one of them for uh, Super Brain with a dandy sticker on the back. I also got another one, but uh, uh, I have like one of them has cassette remarks uh, with broken English, which I kind of like. <laughs> uh, that uh, sophisticated apparatus shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also I have it uh, on uh, one where. It says remarks uh, as well, but it's uh, right uh, printed right into the plastic, and uh, the dandy sticker is uh, ripped out, sadly. Hmm. But uh, uh, I got uh, these car those cartridges uh, for very cheap price, the believe it or not, from auctions. There are some collectors. Game over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's do the uh, usual two-player. Yes, let's do it. Where the st status bar is non-existent. Yes, let's go. That's or Troika for Troika. us. Yes, why not? Okay, this is and a this little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, this card, steeper card I was talking about, uh, also very, seem to be very valuable just because of that uh, stupid sticker on the back. There is nothing much uh, uh, about this, just this elephant uh, on the back, and this is like uh, a tra yes, trademark. Uh, <laughs> yes, it says like a trademark on the cartridge and the consoles are guaranteed to have a compatibility 
We have dandy consoles, so, 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 shit like that. And some people uh, may sell for like uh, over than 1000 rubles. Depending on uh, what game it is. And how it's much is it in dollar? If you, if I can ask that. Hmm. Can't really recall, but uh, engine it like uh, half the price of Tank and Tetris uh, official cartridge. Sheesh. Just Some because of one fucking sticker. And yes. I'm now, sure. No, I need to say something. You know that it's a fucking idiotic word. When pirate cards have overprice. Yes. It's just a pirate card and uh, the quality is not anyways uh, could, could not be anyways good as official cartridges. Even though the old bootlegs are of course um, pretty decent, have pretty decent quality. Yes. Because actually these bootleg cards are in fact repro cartridges. Yes, but without copyright stuff and such. Yes. Most of them. Maybe the makers got a very little money money for that, but I can don't really know because I heard these not so great uh, news about this Famicom piracy. What is really the story behind it is because they just hire programmers which who are aren't in gaming in general, and they just try to overprice them and say hey here's a fucking job that you can occupy for free fucking rice per day and that, that's really sad to think about it yeah. you, you do a job that it's one it doesn't your interest and you just only do just for your the sake of living yeah that's kind of sad actually yeah pretty damn sad but so uh, bootleg cards, yes, uh, all bootleg cards. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, too sure, but I think some pirate uh, uh, pirate companies cared much more about uh, this than uh, the ones nowadays. So maybe not because uh, well, the new ones just get like a very cheap uh, PCB, with just one glob uh, mm -hmm. on it, and uh, really cheap plastic thingy. And uh, just uh, the fact that it might might not work on uh, mm, official yes. deals. Yes, but in then then again I am saying maybe you don't agree with me, but because of this theory, but and I don't think it's a theory; it's a fact. We somewhat need to respect the the pirates in such a way. I yes, if so not the pirates, we wouldn't be able to play such great uh, games. Yes, so. Yes, yeah, so we sometimes say fucking Chinese programmer why did he do this? Or Chinese speakers, whatever. But, <laughs> but on the meantime they did shit job in, in such a way. Shit job. That they just ne doesn't never really wanted to do. Yes. <laughs> because then again there is not too much people in gaming in general terms or if there is somebody like my classmates they are probably into modern games which is not a bad thing because at least they respect me that they that I like retro games or I think I uh, feel that but they don't bully me oh why do you are playing these shitty games or such thing like that yes sometimes they says me but that's for uh, for joke purposes that when, yes. some, when somebody like when that why the that, that he says why the hell we should be in here in the school when we don't do jack shit all the day because let's be honest I would I could go to the I, so he said he could go to the gym to work out and Nor Norby could go home and make his 8 bit shit all day long hmm. and I was like of course because I kind of like this this fucking stuff. So yeah, about this uh, games respect uh, uh, both uh, modern games and uh, retro games. Yes. So don't don't be like a narrow-minded person and uh, defend only one side. 
Yes. Personally, I'm not really into this modern games, but I don't say they're shit or anything like that. Yes. We need to actually respect the the hackers, pirates who actually uh, were able to buy the real deals and dump it to online services as torrents. It's the same deal as today. Oh shit. So not, nothing really changed. Hmm. But maybe it is just for a hobby and... But then again if they, if they co coke you, you can go into the jail. So... Yeah, it's not really worth it. And that's, that's the reason why there is a film exists called Procreatia Serogos Lonieka. Or in English... Great Elfant's Curse? Oh. Great Elfant's Curse, or if I really want to make a Hungarian translation for it someday, a Surke Elephant Atka. Hungarian sounds very cool. Yes. But it's uh, pretty difficult to learn, as you said. Don't learn it. It's a waste of time. Sorry to disappoint you and maybe others who think that oh I'm a cool guy because I know Hungarian. No, I'm not really, really disrespectful to my country and no, I'm nor I really, really like this language at all because its grammar is a fucking atrocious broken mess which this Finnugo horseshit. So it's not, there is nothing fun about it, and I mean nothing fun about it. Yes, it's good for the sake that, to say that I am speaking one of the most difficult fucking languages on the planet, but for anything per much, it's not really good. And then, and then thought Russian was very difficult to learn for foreign, foreign uh, learners. Yes, it's also very difficult because of the alphabet and maybe the vowels. So and, and the thing that one word can uh, have more meanings than uh, what you might think. But for, but to be fair, if I need to choose between my mother language, I would be rather Russian because how to say Hungary is maybe nowadays into Western Europe, but then but th in terms of mentality and generally and maybe in the in the in the general people's behavior, this is still like good old Eastern mind before the Cold War and shit like that. And I'm speaking in in, gen in general terms. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know how to actually entitle this video. Speaking about bullshit and philosophing on things, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> because the NES gaming live stream would be a little bit, uh, how to say, dull. That but was uh, pretty, mm, pretty know. average and pretty. Mm, uh, I think you understood what I was trying to say. Yes, but we may, we're gonna think about it. But I don't really know that I should upload it or maybe you. But then again, if I would se 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 send this bandy camp file, that would be like in fucking ages. So it would be better, better if I upload this as a, mm, I don't know, a, a, non, a not for sale video. You download it and you download it for your channel. That would be a little bit more productive. Oh no, no, no. shit. We suck so much at Tetris as well. Okay, that is your last credit. At least, uh, as well, um, when it's yes. like sometimes, it's not gonna be great. So you are restarting for the third time. So I'm saying that if you, uh, if I and you get a game over, then either just uh, play another game or maybe end the video because it is uh, like one hour long now. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if someone uh, oh, would actually want to watch it. Yes, and I really hope that the recording turns out very good because I don't really want to produce shit because that Rockman 4 is just painful to hear. Yeah, yes, failed somehow. But yes. Rockman 4 but, minus but, looks interesting. 
Uh, I would say it's more of a mind killer. Yes, it's good, but if I really <coughs> want to choose, uh, I would stick to the beatable original version. I don't know if, if the, there is such thing as exists that that game is just way too cool. Mm. It's way too cool that it's a little bit bad. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. And yes, yeah, speaking of that video, I'd say hello to Z99 and uh, ask and would ask how you doing. <laughs> You're watching this video. That's quite unlikely because he is not really on YouTube anymore. But I may gonna. P you uh, may you may share this video with him. <laughs> yes. And yeah. uh, as you said about like uh, daily motion thingy, yes. Apparently, that method you told me to report videos um, of mine worked. Yes. But for some reason, my report videos wasn't accepted by Motion Maker. But who cares about it? This is up there. Yes. In case YouTube uh, is being dig heads and uh, would remove it. Remove yeah. my videos. Yes. You know when I. Uh, instantly, uh, I don't know, when I uploaded the Super Mario Bros, general Super Mario Bros playthrough to my YouTube channel, I mean, three seconds later it said, third party attack because of Super Mario Bros team, and I was like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna delete this in a mere seconds, and you cannot say that shit to me, motherfuckers. And I wonder what happens if we play like in polyphonic on speed. It's like what uh, Satoshi Matrix uh, does has just because he loves NTSC so much has to turn off. <sighs> okay, I'm done here. <laughs> just because he loves NTSC so much, he uh, has to turn off the music for yes. turn off hacks of Mario. And I'm maybe I'm now a little bit dickhead to say this, but it kind of defeats the purpose of playing a game or making a video about it, even if it's on NESX, so I would still say to him that why the, f why the hell I put this fucking uh, uh, tile there? So to make a daily motion account for, he he for him as well, maybe for backups, but I don't know if he really cares about his stuff if he gets lost or something shit like that. Well, he said that uh, uh the audience will not really move to daily motion, and he said like uh, classic uh, game rooms reviews. They tried to, to move to their websites for uploading videos, uh, but not a lot of people followed. So uh, he said it's like uh, uh, if it didn't work for classic game rooms uh, reviews uh, to move on to their websites for reviews, it wouldn't work to, for anyone. Yes, because. Despite the fact that YouTube sucks, it is still one of the most popular video sharers on the YouTube, and that's what the people's, <laughs> uh, uh, I think, 70% is of using it, including myself, because that's the same could be said that I'm only following uh, uh, our friend Mark on, uh, mm, I don't know, on Daily Motion. Nobody else, and maybe you. Well, I'm following him as well. He is making. Uh, actually, not. Actually, not. He has already made uh, a book through so some pirate hacks like Bruce and Leo, that awful Tom and Jerry hack made by uh, Inventor, that company who uh, hacked uh, Tank 1990 to future tank that we have played. When I first saw that image of that, uh, I don't know who the hell was that. It was kind of like Smurf. Papa from the Smurfs, mm. I was left my ass fucking off that my mother even asked, what, what is your problem, kid? <laughs> I mean, that it, that was just so bad, it was so priceless, I mean, it's just, jeez, it's <laughs> one hell of a fucked up game. <laughs> yes. But even the graphics inside, inside were strange, so I can't really say it's a... Uh, super what, uh, super lazy hack, but I that's don't. What, that's what uh, could be applied very well to your statement that uh, Paris just had uh, to 
make this sort of uh, to copy this sort of games in order to live, uh, you know, though they were not really interested in this stuff. Yes. Because, uh, like, this one, they just made, made lazy hacks and, like, good hand would be a great example. I mean, to get to the stage, you had to paint the, the road, but uh, they just didn't know this, so uh, they just made it look uh, the same, even though you rode it, so. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to uh, beat the first stage just because you can't see um, if road changes the color or not. Mm -hmm. I can see that. And I actually uploaded gameplay video, but I had to hack this hack. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, right? Yes, and my cat is smiling again. But uh, other than that, it was just a glitchy pirate version of City Connection, where um, the graphics were removed. So uh, the, um, that girl uh, after bit stage would be just a glitchy mess, and the background would be glitchy as hell. Yeah, I actually have a City Connection, which is I think have a oh, bullshit like that. That I think there is there is a graphics or some picture. But I played on the original ROM, it, it, and it is just uh, made out of blank tiles and something like that. Yes, it's, it's, it must be the glitch pirate version. I have. Uh, yes. Kind of, like, kind of like a bad dump of this. It has copyrights, but uh, the graphics are messed up. Yes, and it's like pixelated and, uh, shit. It's uh, the same thing, and it could be applied for Twin B because uh, on the after the level four, the graphics on the backgrounds just start uh, going ape shit. Yeah. Just because I think of a mapper hack or something like that where players can remove some uh, uh, graphics data in the process of converting them to NROM. I guess these games use like a custom mapper. Maybe it was, I think, 1986, so it could have used some sort of mapper. Um, or, or maybe just did it intentionally. Who knows? Um, and interesting thing is that uh, Tang and Tetris also has a song mapper, but the pirates also kind of screwed up because in pirate versions there was no high score system. Screen. Yes, yes, that was removed. But but then again, who the fuck cares about high scores really? Well, that might be not really. Uh, but or, or I mean, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't really buy a real copy just because of that feature. Because then again. I have virtually no hum human beings around here to play with that game on on real time consoles. So if I would really have want to have a high score, then I just write it down to a piece of paper or, ma the, or, or make a print screen of it. Or a yes, photos. whatever way that works for you is better. Yes, and I would still encourage people to buy, and I mean buy the fucking is it. Uh, Famicom version of the Tangent Tetris because it's the same fucking game but with no Tangent logo and and, and you seriously want to uh, uh, buy money just because of a Tangent sprite that's just bullshit if you ask me bullshit what it is like you've you would buy Kickmaster for the NES because it has the string license by Nintendo of America. <laughs> just because, but why? 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 Because I can actually see people's minds that are just so idiotic that they would actually do that. Mm -hmm. Because, as I know, on every Pirate card, the Kickmaster has this title screen hack which has the title logos dot and a copyright date of 1992. But that's because the game actually was released in 1992, January 1st. But the game was actually developed in the year 1991. Yes, uh, if the game doesn't have corporate protection, uh, there is no huge loss. I like other example uh, other examples like uh, do you know Kid Dracula game of Kamaju book special or something like that? 
Uh, you mean Kid Dracula? Yes, on NES. Yes, there, I know that. There is a pirate version of it that removes copyrights, and uh, oh. if there is no copyrights, then uh, from a level two up to the end, there will be no enemies whatsoever on uh, in the game. I've looked it up information about it somewhere, and, and it makes the game virtually too too easy, or what? Uh, not too sure. I think uh, either too easy or unplayable, or unplayable at some point. Hmm. And um, also that Crisis Force game, it's not just because uh, um, not having kind of copyrights makes it just loop all, all over again to beat level one. Oh, yes, that's quite strange, do you know? Because I also have that fucked up, and I mean really fucked up multi card which has Crisis Force, which doesn't have the Konami uh, string and shit like that and uh, my copy uh, drum rolling inbound only works via converter on a PAL NES a game as I, I, I address this again a game which was already released in Japan and did you test it? Uh, does it uh, loop uh, all over again after level no. 1? I, I made it as far as stage 5 because the game just oh, uh, kicked so, my ass. So far it's, so far it's actually... Uh, Get, uh, got around that sometime, yes. somewhere. But they but they were just idiots. But why the hell they put on a fucking multi-card Yes, yeah, so I've seen actually a pirate frame one super checky multi-card with... Oops. <laughs> I pressed it by accident. <laughs> yeah, you know what, play a little bit because I'm getting a little bit bored. Okay. Um, uh, I've seen like uh, that free one multi card which has uh, apparently the Japanese version of TMNT 3 of the Manhattan Project, which was called TMNT 2. Yes. Because the first one was called Gagi Kamen Ninja Den. Yes. And uh, it has uh, Kaikitsu and Shimaru 2 Karakuri Land. Apparently, a mapper hack which uh, has a scrolling effect, a glitch. And the uh, crazy sports, which uh, uh, doesn't have copyrights, but uh, it works almost like it should. Yes. I would actually pick this cartridge up, but uh, there are so many, so many people at the auction uh, that uh, would just raise the price up to like uh, a million fucking dollars. Yes, I know. Almost, that. yeah. Just right, like that. Mm. But. Um, if I wanted to make it to, I already have a uh, pirate card where it works almost uh, like it should, but there are just uh, little graphical problems, like I mentioned earlier, Twin Beam City Connection. Mm -hmm. With some later bosses where uh, they're, they're just random letters and numbers uh, in the spots where they should uh, spawn, which is rather weird, and the scrolling effect uh, doesn't work very well because. Uh, it's like in uh, some games, like uh, uh, the title screen shows up, it goes up, and then goes from the bottom of the screen. Hmm. So it's just like it stays there, but it goes up and then comes back from the bottom. Hmm. It's really a bit difficult to explain, but. Um, I guess you are gonna make a video it, about it sometime. I have a, a Pac Man on a pirate multi cut where they. Uh, screwed up this uh, vertical scrolling effect hmm. so, so it just scrolls like I, I've just uh, ex explained in a cookie way <laughs> mm -hmm. 200 lines um, yeah. wait a sec, wait a second dude, I need to turn on the lights because it's too dark okay oh. Better. Way better. Yes. <laughs> Although you can't really see it, <laughs> but you can trust that it. it's much better with the lights on. Mm -hmm. And speaking of anti piracy, I think uh, Time to Adventures needs no introduction. Because my copy of the in the, what I had in the 90s is actually beatable from start to end, but sometimes 
and I mean sometimes there is a very strange glitch that when, when the screen fades out at a certain level by something and you will be transported back to the very first level. Uh, is it the first one or the second? The first one. Oh. I to Adventures 1. Oh. I don't know if it's just my copy or it does have I this only, uh, I got it for Super Brain on the, on the pirate card that says Tiny Toon 2 or there is Tiny Toon 1 inside. And I didn't, haven't really experienced that problem. Hmm. I actually ha also have Tiny Toon Adventures 2 but you will gonna be amazed because I have it as a normal re version like it has the license by Nintendo string and so it's kinda like official that's real surprising because I also have it as well but not in a single cartridge but yes. on the 401 multiple I have it on a single cartridge and I've played it I think in does it have like a proper label from Famicom uh, uh, box or something like that. Uh, or the the original bo box or that label which was came in, it, it was actually uh, uh, somewhat accurate because there is a PlayStation game called Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. You will, I will say that look up its cover sometime again. Oh my God, I, it's a game over. I think for me because I am making way too much mistakes. And they just uh, ripped off the cover from there, and they just slapped in there, and entitled as Tiny Toon 2. Mm. So they actually was a kind of generous to say me that the Tiny Toon 2 is the real name, but then again I can call it Tiny Toon 2 because that was the last of the three Tiny Toon games released for the NES, because actually you might not heard about this but there is actually three tiny toon games but two games are mo more more like games and the third game is more like a miscellaneous game or something like that you know tiny toon uh, uh, adventures or tiny toon cartoon workshop mm. that game was made by none other by novo trade international incorporated and published by konami and i think it was released only in the United States and maybe in Europe but I'm not certain and that's basically a cartoon direction game on a cartridge so you can make movies with mm. that so it's kind of like the prototype of Sony Vegas Pro or something like that it's actually pretty playable I played it but which was but but why I read it in the manual? Okay, game over. Now you play, and uh, and tell about it that you desperately needed to have a v VCR for that game because if you made a movie, you can't you couldn't save it to a save file and then load it back up and show up to some of your mates. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of very interesting to make movies with that but you needed to save it on a VHS or... Um, hmm. but, or considering, but considering the fact that back then VHS was, was uh, expensive... Uh, it was popular I mean, it as all. Well, yeah, it was kind of pointless. Yes. Game. But the game is actually pretty darn damn rare, but not in the rare section of unbuyably rare. And that is a. I should actually get my hands on it because maybe of my heritage or something like that. But then again, if I really want to buy a, a Hungarian game, that then might, must be King's Quest V for the NES. Mm -hmm. I think it's a faithful port to the PC original, even though if it doesn't have the speed samples. Oh, you are doing quite good. Mm -hmm. Not too sure about because uh, I, feel, I feel myself screwed. Oh, Just maybe. look at this, how many blocks are you? Okay, so what should... like the end of the video maybe. Wanna play something else or... Oh! Ooh, I, I totally forgot about this. See? Okay.
I am the first one. Why couldn't they even make it look like uh, four letters? Can't even fit my name in it. And then my name. <laughs> it's like uh, I'm just putting my uh, <laughs> several letters. So uh, let's my, let's go with some Russian dude. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what should be More. next? <laughs> This is like I think the fourth time I am seeing this screen in my lifetime. <laughs> so that's kind of defeats the purpose why this why this high score fiasco is so pointless. Yeah, there's uh, not huge loss if there is no uh, high score in the your copy of this game. Yeah, but maybe for last game I don't know. I'm just looking at my at my multi cards. What is a game that I would consider playing? Uh, let me think a little bit. You know what? When I'm thinking, I'm gonna just pause the video right now. So, yes, so balloon fight what we are going to play. But make sure it is two player mode. And oh my god, this is gonna be interesting because I suck at this game. Okay. And uh, uh, have you noticed what it says at the bottom? <laughs> Copyright 1987 FMG. So apparently FMG is a creator of this game. <laughs> yes, FMG. It's one of the most <coughs> unknown companies in the world. It was... Oh my god, this is legs like hell, but I don't care. It's, it's, it's watchable, I think. Yes, I think it is. So, I think this game for its... Does it really need intro fucking induction? Oops! <laughs> oh, we can harm each other! Yes. That kind of sucks. So let's be, try to be more careful this way. Okay, you are an up, I'm on down. Yes. I don't. I didn't know that this game had the Battletoads shit. But, okay, you get yeah. it. And I got health up because on every three, four rounds there's a bonus okay. room. So yeah, now the, the main thing to look up and to watch out is for these balloons because well, we get perfect bonus, why not? Right? Yeah. Because all of this. And, and we uh, can still harm each other in the bonus area as well. Of course, uh, I think, I'm not sure about this. And That's yes, so la uh, first uh, uh, part of the company games that was also uh, advertised uh, in one of the Japanese uh, Famicom commercials as Battle Fighter or something like that. Mm. <laughs> I love Japanese. Yeah. Yes. And well, yes, one of the first jam games. Yes. Of course, and um, common sight on the pirate cards. And I actually have it maybe on one fucking card at all. Um, I have it with like 76 and 1 fun time. Uh, maybe. 115 1 and 401 and an official card as well, which for some reason plays uh, the bonus uh, theme when I started on my Famiclones. Mm -hmm. On two of my Famiclones, or oh, three Famiclones, sorry. I'm not really sure why it uh, plays bonus theme. I even made like balloon fight what the fuck video in my second channel, mm -hmm. which currently has a Doraemon icon in case you're not aware, and it's called mm -hmm. S Second uh, Russian Mario Dude. Oh, I, I oh, know no, that. No, Second Alex S R M D. That's it. Or something like that. But you know, I I know you have I think three more channels or something like that. But I have maybe. three channels. Um, the one for super, uh, the one is uh, main channel. The other one is for random unfitting videos, as I clearly wrote in the description. Mm -hmm. And the third one for a Nintendo 64 stuff like Super Mario 64, although... Mm -hmm. oh, hey, we got the uh, same amount of... Uh, yes. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. I guess. And uh, that's Super Mario 64 stuff which I don't really upload. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Because Super Mario 64 is kind of boring, actually, to me. And Although, I, I can't, uh, and sadly I can't really say about much of it because, how to say to you politely, I was a 
PlayStation faggot back in the days and... Well, I actually met this game only in 2010, really, to not ah, prove. Shit! Shit. And, uh, yes, a lot of people use Japanese version, like American version, but I, f I find PAL version much better for some crazy reason. Because yes, of it's life. a little bit slow, but it's not way too fast. And I like that. Uh, not sure. Hmm. It's not way. It's not way too fast for my liking. Because N64 has this clock rate bullshit as well. Oh, go fuck you! I'm not sure. Can you still uh, alive from each other? Hmm. <coughs> but what actually sucks about this game that you are not able to have extra lives at all as yeah. far as I know I've played this through this game a little bit and through its hack which uh, most of you will not be familiar with yes there exists a hack called I... Fish Boar that was released on 151 real game 245 and 1 401 multi cards mm -hmm. which is basically this game but with uh, custom music that was produced by pirates Oh. And it, the scenery is uh, in uh, in the sea, in the middle of the sea, and they play as a fish, killing random other fish. Fish war. Yes. Kill the music music is not too bad, but it's uh, re real repetitive. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how you doing because I'm kind of. Screw that. Yes. Do, 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 do. Well, I never really got ma very far in this game, to be honest. I think this is uh, the point where I got in this fish war video. Mm. My best thing was, I think, maybe phase 32, but I don't know. I think, I guess this game still loops like all the other. Yes, I think it's the same. And uh, my first death. Oh. How surprising. I never really know what the hell we are fighting against. What are these penguins or? Well, in fish world, made kind of some kind of sense because we uh, are fighting fish, but they had balloons uh, on the top of them for some reason. Which was still clearly telling that it's supposed to be a balloon fight. Heck. Mm. And speaking in biological terms, I mean, what on earth on a, or I mean, what kind of. Uh, <laughs> fish would go into the sky just to kill himself with balloons when in because in the in the air there is no oxygen for them okay can you restore extra can okay. you start over no no not hmm. at all that's weird Oh, okay, apparently this game uh, doesn't have that ability. <laughs> but then again, it why would it does when it, when you have only three lives in the whole game? Yeah, three lives is pretty standard for these video games. But I guess there must be exist of hex of this fit, maybe a little bit more extra lives. Well, on the multi cards, of course, it could be because they various loves love screwing up with games. Mm. On the multi cards, I saw like. Um, the hack where it will start on uh, a balloon trip mode and the uh, game will be selected one player mode, it will be a second player as well. I think it was Pig Pegasus 168 in one of Booby Kids music. Hmm. Because that one had uh, random hacks like uh, you, you would play as a Goomba in Bomberman or s and su such things. Hmm. Yeah. Speaking of balloon fight, do you know the more obscure balloon fight hacks, which are not really hacks, but these idiotic, <laughs> idiotic versions of Estes? Um, the only ones I can recall for now are just to press it there for to this one, and there was like uh, some game of culture on six and one. Yes, Adam and Eve. Oh yes, that one. I can't personally played it, but I heard that uh, it doesn't play as great. Yes, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Yay! 
he that one died right by himself. And uh, and stage fifteen or phase. From that culture six one, I think port is uh, kind of like the only game that's worth it's worth playing because uh, not it's a uh, half decent soccer band. To uh, be rip -off. to be honest, I found m nearly all of the games are functional on those cards. I my favorite is probably maybe. Bookyman or Cosmos Cup. Oh, Bookyman. It's like Russian. That's or... kind of cool. I guess. It's like it's... a Pac-Man ripoff, but it oh, plays. It's a brush good. roller, of course. A brush roller, I know. It's, I have yes, a yes. By Kong Shin Wei. Yes, yes. I actually don't have it on a cart. Uh, try to buy some newer multi cards, you'll eventually find this game. I, I actually was uh, thinking of tomorrow going to the flea market to see if there are any more bootleg cards lying around there. That would be kind of a great, a great idea. Yeah. I, I, I haven't been on no. the... <laughs> wow, it was really that awesome. Was sucked. Yeah. Game over, game over. Hmm. One more round or something else? Let's try once more. And maybe uh, we'll st either stop the video or just play another game. But maybe just we'll stop because it's uh, taking way too long. Yes. Okay. You know, have one balloon already popped out. Speaking of these balloons, do, do they, they have any kind of sort of purpose? Mm, I don't know. Maybe they should. Uh, these guys have wings or something to fly, and balloons just help them not to fall down very easily mm. and very fast. Okay, at least I got my balloon back. Yes. Uh, that's what great thing about this uh, bonus things, uh, aside from uh, the music mm -hmm. that you all know and you all love. The bonus just restored back. Up. Ah, I think actually if you pop up balloon of someone, you just don't die. Hmm. Although I could be wrong about that. I won't want to really sacrifice myself to know uh, that. Yeah. And also, we don't play uh, as great as some other people might be playing this game, so let's not risk, right? Yes, yes I haven't. I, as I said, I'm not really played that much of this of this of a game, but I actually find it quite fun. Hmm. But then again, you can you can't really go wrong with the first generation Famicom games. I mean. The majority of them are unless it's Super Radiant Frontline, <laughs> because this um, Super Radiant is just unplayable on level three. Trust me, I've tried it several times. The platforms are just and the level designs are awful. The Frontline is somewhat playable, but the hit detection sucks. Hmm. But most of the first generation games are pretty good. Oh, hey, oh, that shit. was a double shit kill. Again. Oops, I almost uh, um, touched the wire of my console, so... <sighs> By my feet, hopefully uh, the power hmm. adapter didn't cut off and uh, well, it didn't break. Hmm. And... Yeah, I, will do I lost the balloon, I still got it back. Hmm. And... Uh, What can I say? If you really want to play first generation games, you can find most of them well, in the all on these multi cards. Like 400 in one, which is. Uh, the prime. Some, pe some people seem to, uh, to decide to buy it if they wrote a text review about it. Mm. Yes, it has like a lot of first gen games. Mm. Yes. Quite a few. Um, 
later games, some yes. rare ones, when yes. Oh, and maybe it's a little bit bullshit, but if somebody actually st still don't know, but I think he probably watched that Monster Party Famicom ROM has been just released today on July 4th, the Independence Day. So yeah, Happy Independence Day to yes. all the people from the USA who is watching us. Yes, so Happy Independence Day to you guys because <laughs> we don't really celebrate anything on this day and I guess nor you too. Russians. Okay, let's see. And <gasps> yay! The fish yes. at that guy. But then again, he that would. Fish issues, it, it, that fish eats you as well if you go to the bottom, so don't. I, I. Sadly, I experienced that, so. I know it. And yeah, it, it's especially um, problematic in balloon trip mode because the balloons uh, are located at the bottom. Pretty much so impossible to avoid it. <laughs> Yes. No, I don't let go me, your piece of shit PC. Okay, the audio code started dropping out for some reason. It started, became uh, shittier for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, my internet connection seems to be pretty fine. I mean, I don't download anything from torrents or upload videos on YouTube. Mm. Because when I download Cartoons, movies, or there from torrents, the internet connection uh, starts dropping dropping out yeah. and it starts uh, uh, working very badly. Well, since I'm using Encore, it's a far better option actually. But then again, it's a Hungarian Oops. exclusive uh, site yeah. for torrents and shit like that. You know what? I'm gonna get this. Okay. okay, and maybe look, 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 look. go fuck <laughs> the hell, wow. and it's, it's and I still died. Wow, it was a big fail, right? That there. was uh, that's definitely a highlight. <laughs> weird to say at least. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> that's that LP or something like that becomes poopy now. Yeah. It's <laughs> hilarious to watch. Um, <laughs> uh, why the hell I use the fucking turbo joystick? Why too much? Use the B button. It works way better. And okay, let's. I'll put your balloon and uh, ah! go down to the bottom. Don't, 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 don't. Yes. Yeah. Ha ha ha! Take that, bitch. <laughs> Oh, and I got Yay. my balloon back. Yay! <laughs> well, even the such <laughs> such a simple small games so <laughs> yes. could lead to such funny situations and highlights. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I need to calm down <laughs> because everything's fine, but <laughs> still looking at that moment. Yes, me as well, a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hey, face 13. Like the lucky number of mine because <laughs> I was born on that mm. day. Like not, and was and just now good. come to think of it. We we grew up on so much pointless games, but this was the shit bad back in the day. Yeah, even though the game is uh, like doesn't have storyline and uh, doesn't have much point in it, you can make up. You could actually make up your own storyline back in these days. Uh, well, uh, let let not say a damn word about that thing, and I just died because I not really want to reference back. One of my older videos, which I made, I think, almost a year or maybe nine, ten months ago, yeah, when somebody okay. is asking the storyline of what the hell is happening in Super Mario World 9. <laughs> well, I answered. Yeah, I remember him. this comment, it was awesome. Now, 
We have to make like a video production about this. If I could make like a decent animation and such, I would or, this to real life. Or <laughs> better yet, make a reproduction card about it with complete in box with some bu bullshit and let's, let's and let's write that thing down to the manual. <laughs> yeah. And authorize it as unreleased game. Estimated value five million dollar value. Okay, that joke is kind of getting old. So we're used to it. But okay. but if I want to be actually in in terms of reality, I would fetch I think maximum fifty dollars for a game like that. Complete inbox everything and maybe ten dollars for shipping, uh, consisting the value of sixty dollars. Oh yeah, got high score. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah. As you posted in my group about this uh, mm -hmm. guy who was selling these games in these weird cases, mm -hmm. and uh, he was asking for like a price, like it's it's like oh it's factory sealed, no nobody has seen this before, please buy it. Yes, please buy it. Here is yes. my answer. It's like are we are we uh, here with this? Here thing? is my answer. Are Get alive. <laughs> Shit, the giggles. No. Fuck, and I'm dead. And but at least I got high score, that's alright. Yes, and this video is almost running for 1 hour and 46 minutes. So, should, should we play something else for 14 minutes to end the video? or? It would be actually nice for a 2 hour or long stream, I think. Let's think about it. Yeah, let's I'm pause pausing the, the video. Yeah. The video is now going on. So, uh, so I'm uh, go going to end this uh, long, uh, long ass video with uh, ice climber. Yes, which legs and like idiotically. And it's not just a typical ice climber that uh, you're familiar on NES, as you will see. Hey, didn't when you press the one player button? No, I uh, chose two players. Okay, then it was lagged like hell because I <coughs> can barely can see shit. Let's reset. Or not? What is happening? <laughs> you know what? You know. You yeah. know what? Technical difficulties inbound. Much, much, much fucking better. For the most part. Okay, and what is the big deal with this? Way too many legs, yay! Mm. <laughs> and see this. Here's a seal, yeah. it's not a nice man. Or some read snowman. Because it's actually a pirate version of Japanese. Yes, but. I think it's yeah. just identical to the to that version, as far yes, as I they, know. Yes, they just changed the graphics, pretty much. And this is actually one of my favorite of this first party Nintendo games because I don't know, ice is cool and I climbing ice is just seem an awesome concept. Okay, and this seal is trying. <laughs> but seriously. Animal abuse since 1984. <laughs> that was very quick. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> hey, I just realized where the hell are our lives? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so druggy. Okay, <laughs> this was <laughs> shitty. Epic fail, man. But where the hell are my extra lives? <laughs> that's that. You are have to be joking me that that's the case <laughs> that you you don't get jack shit lives in a pirate version. <laughs> oh my god, such a fail, crazy! That was quick. Nine frame buffer latency. Wow, this video surely rocks. Yes, just like in last December. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay, we can start on Mountain 2. 
Let's do this. Let's do this Skip music. Oh my god, <laughs> it works. Or maybe Quite not. Interesting. Quite interesting thing is that I think on NES version we can't pause the game as a second player too because the original Famicom didn't have a start select -like button as you might be aware. And I'm just saying, may I ask why? Because of that fucking microphone. It's just pointless shit. If you ask me. Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen that it works in some games like The Legend of Zelda and that Dry Mountain. Atlantis game. No Nozzle. But, but still, I haven't really been able to find it and to try it out. So, it's pointless. Okay, this is. <laughs> wow, this is good. That was going really exciting. This is like Dick Tracy. The ice, yeah. the ice climber years. Yeah, Dick Tracy ice climber edition. <laughs> or Jackie Chan's <laughs> previous life. Oops, I missed the top. I actually ice climber Dick Tracy version uh, edition. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> or mine and secret yeah, guess. Yeah. yeah, for messing it up. <laughs> you are just jumping yes. around all the time and then you. You're almost getting buttery by that yes. puny little. Yeah, my English, my English started like the second like S uh, by this point. <laughs> Be careful. When I when I com when I completely start uh, <laughs> decided to use this pirate version, it has no extra lights whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> you surely know how to make things challenging enough. <laughs> yeah. This is the reason why I just just uh, 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 opened up my my left optical sensor a little bit way too much when I just uh, when I just realized that where the hell are our, our extra lives? <laughs> yeah, the level of hilarity and idiocy just uh, rises up uh, very fast. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and considering that this game. Not have one, one very hell of a good controls, despite the fact how much I love this game. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was gonna die in this place. Well, I think you have missed the opportunity to have that pumpkin or <laughs> the fuck is that actually? It was a uh, um, neck plant, I guess. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, the time is going down. Let's an, an, egg an eggplant which don't kill you. Mm. Yes, it's not adventure either for you. Yes. How sad. Well, um, that the crash mage apparently hates uh, this eggplant, so uh, the designers decided to make it like it Let drains your health. Ah, I got to watch more videos by uh, Ashens or something like that to learn more about how to say it. <laughs> Things like in like this, in a more fun way. But speaking of reality, the Adventure Island series was pretty much very idiotic in a way that, I mean, if I eat a banana, a banana or something like that, f three minutes ago, and if I don't eat a one in one hundred and eighty seconds, I starve to death. But then again, why the hell we look at games a little bit way too much reality? But just thinking about it, it's a little bit weird that you desperately. Yeah, it's need not to even logical in terms of biology. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, like, uh, he drinks food or something like that way too fast that uh, he wants just more and more food. Yes. So it is and but then, but then again, I can't really see why the hell is Higgins, uh, Mr. Takashi, Mr. Takashi is a little bit uh, fat because he eats fruits all the time, and fruits are good mm. for the health. So who knows? Wow! <laughs> Seems like nine frame buffer latency don't help us all. Yay! <laughs> and you got battery by an, a bird. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, you can see my uh, 
eat this right here where I decide to use pirate version instead of official just <laughs> Okay, maybe we Some I fun. think I we don't need, gonna exceed the two hour limit because it would will need uh, uh you know what? You know what? We have five more minutes then how about mountain thirty two? Let's see how how quickly we can we, we get an Oh no I can't select it. God damn it. <laughs> because of the frame latency. You can because, because of the power has been uh, Asshole. Decided, uh, no, if you want to play this game, go hardcore, play it from mountain one to mountain thirty two. You have to be fucking kidding with me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If even if you hard is it the game? Okay, next n next time I I'm gonna just use uh, a proper version of the game. So <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, we are like this pirate shit. Then we must obligately need to use pirate version. That is Eastern logic for you guys. Okay, then suffer. Then press start. Oh, actually, uh, you know what we could do next time? I would find some uh, multi card form that would work on Virtua and yes, so we could actually just reset uh, the damn thing and not just uh, net, mm -hmm. set the net play and all that uh, shit. So we could just uh, play um, like a one net play session mm. all the games. I'm not sure if we can seal, seal emulator by Sanchez, we can do this. Hmm. So we could play to current 45 in 1. Yes. That would be really cool. Ah. I can't do this today. <coughs> Fucking gay birds everywhere. Yes, I wanted to make this video more fun, but then uh, I just make the fun out of myself. <laughs> this way. Go here. Here is cherry cherry bomb in the blossom. You know what? Kill that fuck Don't kill me. So it turns out it turns out like a, I'm a bigger idiot than you in, the, in this what in this situation. Uh, <sighs> okay. Let's just challenge and uh, see how far we can get in this pirate version. <laughs> At least we can showcase uh, it to people. Yes. Like this, uh, this um, very fucking authentic uh, version of a game that barely a few people played. Oh, yes, and I think that on the pirate cards, uh, most of the pirate cards, in a single ones, uh, you will just have a proper version. Or the Japanese. Oh my god, we survived! Yay, we survived! I'm gonna collect this. Oh, no? Uh, I'm gonna collect uh, you. What the? <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Bikers of the Foot King, oh, Bruton! Yeah. Uh. Wow. I seriously got to stop the thing at some point. Unless we're gonna get, get, gonna get insane. Uh. Pay watch out for that thing. <laughs> that seal or oh, that bird? Nah. <laughs> oh my god. I got I need to drink some. Holy shit, I jumped here. Fresh air license. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I survived. Oh. <laughs> Don't ask idiotic questions. This is where... <laughs> uh, this is some serious insane shit going on here. Jesus. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Sam! The, but I mean today in... <clears throat> I thought... Oh, yeah. 
Next time, <coughs> you are no enemy to me. Uh, that sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for if I uh, decided to use this for a version that uh, just completely ruined by the fact that there are no extra lives. But <laughs> hopefully, you still uh, in enjoy making that play stuff with me. But uh, next time, I'll try to use. Uh, you know what? Versions. I'm gonna just commit suicide because we just reached the two-hour limit. Limit. Yeah, So. So. Say, like I said, don't play this one. Play the official because this version sucks major shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I don't I guess know. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, yeah, video that's right. that and, we and, made, and hopefully it didn't suck me that much. So. This was Mr. Norbert and Samurai Mario signing off. Thanks for watching.